Happy Holy Hump Day on this July 28th, everyone. I'm Pastor Robert. Welcome to this midweek time where I can share some spiritual thoughts and reflections with you. And for today, I am back here in our AV booth, our audiovisual booth, which is in the back corner of our sanctuary, because we recently celebrated the one year anniversary of our online worship broadcast ministry. So it was on July 19 of 2020 when we had our first online worship service. And so you can see here at this booth, there are monitors, different monitors. There's um, the, the soundboard and everything's set up here so that we can have these uh, services recorded. And I just think it's interesting. Here's a screenshot of me preaching on that July 19th of last summer, the, the first Sunday that we had the worship broadcast. Um, I was preaching as part of the Summer of Psalm series. So I was preaching on one of the Psalms on that July 19th. Actually, that service was recorded the Wednesday prior to that July 19th Sunday because back then we began with having the services recorded on Wednesdays and then shown on Sundays at a time of people's choosing to watch. And we didn't have an in-person worship service, so it gave us the option just to pick a day to do the recording. And for the people that were volunteering to do the recording, it just was uh, made more sense to do it on Wednesday. And we did that for the first four months um, since July 19th up through the end of November. We um, would record on Wednesdays and then show the video on Sundays. But then we had to record the worship services on Sunday, beginning the last Sunday of November, because we started having an in-person option. And so it became a live stream. And these videos are put on our church's YouTube channel. Uh, to find that, uh, you just go to Athens First UMC, Athens, Ohio. And you do need to be particular with Athens, Ohio, because there are other Athens First United Methodist churches in other states. So um, we always emphasize that it's Athens, Ohio. But we do have the archive of all of our services that date back to the July 19th service last summer. So you can check that out. But, you know, they have been live stream uh, beginning the last um, Sunday of November, and we continue uh, to do that. So it's been a great ministry, and we do celebrate this one-year anniversary. When we started this ministry, it involved uh, four very important things to get it started. Number one, and it's true with any ministry, you know, without volunteers, you can't really do the ministry. So we had people who were willing to come in every Wednesday and, and record the service or assist me in leading the service up front. And then the second thing we needed was a sanctuary camera to be able to get different camera angles during the service. And we have advanced over this past year to the point where we now have several different camera angles, which is uh, so much better than just you know having one uh, general uh, camera angle. And so we needed uh, some equipment. And the third thing is we um, needed additional copyright licenses. We already had some copyright licenses, but we needed additional ones since we were going to have music um, be part of uh, videos that would then be put on YouTube. So we have all of the information we need to make the proper notations on uh, the slides when we introduce a piece of music. So. Um, we, we, had, we got that in place. And then the other thing I think that was an adjustment for us to get this started was uh, the people who were leading in worship up front being recorded. We just needed to be more mindful that it's not just the people in the, in the pews, especially when we started the in-person worship again. Um, it's also the people who are watching from either their homes or from a nursing home or wherever they might be if they're on vacation and then they can watch us live stream. So um, I had to adjust my thinking of, you know, we're welcoming not just people who are here physically, but uh, people who are maybe not in the building, but watching somewhere. And I think that's uh, been a great advantage to be able to have these services for people who, for whatever reason, can't be here in person. Um, and so I thought you would be interested in these statistics related to this first full year of having our online worship broadcast ministry. We average 82 views per Sunday, which translates into an average of 123 people who are watching our worship service on any given Sunday. That does not count the people who are here in person. That's just the people who are watching this broadcast ministry through YouTube. So we average 123 
people. So just think of that. If you're worshiping here in person, there's an additional 123 people on average who are also joining us in worship. The second uh, statistic I think is interesting is Christmas Eve was our largest viewed recording. Not too much of a surprise there, but 162 views for Christmas Eve, which means 243 people were watching. The next most viewed uh, worship service was Easter Sunday this past spring. And then also, in addition to Sunday morning recording, we had 120 people watch our Ash Wednesday service this past winter, and I think that's just wonderful. And for Monday Thursday, as part of Holy Week this past spring, we had 173 people who watched the service. So those are great numbers of people that we are now reaching through our online worship ministry. The other really helpful thing about having an online worship ministry is that it only costs uh, $75 per Sunday to provide these online broadcasts. And this just basically covers our overhead costs, like the copyright license fees I was mentioning earlier, uh, the internet costs, which we already had internet service, but we kind of beefed that up to make it a stronger signal. And then as well as um, you know some upgrades to our equipment, and that costs some money. And those are uh, things that we'll probably continue to do as we uh, learn how to improve our online worship um, uh, broadcast. And the other wonderful thing to share with you is we have sponsors for the rest of this year's broadcast. And so you'll notice there's a slide at the beginning of every worship service that you can see whether you're in person or watching online. It gives the name of whoever it is that is sponsoring that Sunday, which means that they you know, contributed $75 to help pay for the overhead cost for that Sunday. So we have enough sponsors through the rest of the year, but I'm sure when we get to 2022, um, we, we will need some people to fill in those Sundays. So the biggest thing that I want to share with you is that our urgent need as we start looking at having a nine o'clock service in our chapel and continuing this 1030 service, um, our urgent need is to have more AV volunteers so that we can spread out the uh, time commitment of the people who are helping uh, serve back here at this um, AV booth. And so if um, you feel um, that this might be a calling for you to be involved. There's simple training. It, it's uh, um, training that, that we provide uh, that you could find a Sunday to work uh, with a team of people to um, be part of our uh, worship recording. And we would really appreciate that. And we also have a need uh, specifically for the nine o'clock service because we're gonna do something very similar, not record, in the nine o'clock chapel service when that begins the end of August, but we need people to run the PowerPoint during the service. So that might be something you uh, would have an interest in. I invite you to join us, speaking of worship, join us this Sunday uh, for our 1030 worship service, either online through our church's YouTube channel, which is a live stream, or you can watch it later at a time of your choosing, or you can come in person uh, for our worship service this upcoming Sunday. The theme is so much more based on our gospel reading as we think about there's just so much more that Jesus has to offer us more than we can ask, think, or imagine. It will also be Holy Communion Sunday, the first Sunday of the month, and we also are going to turn the calendar, aren't we, to the a new month of August. So we invite you to worship this Sunday. And again, happy birthday, online worship broadcast ministry.